Hello my dear friends, welcome back to the channel Exotic Scents with Nikhil and today I have a very interesting perfume for all of you. This is a pure oil from the house of Ensarud and it's an Atar. So basically it's a blend of different perfume materials. It's a beautiful perfume which comes in a 3ml format. This is your traditional Atar bottle with a plastic dipstick inside and uh, you just need a little bit of this on your skin. Earlobes somewhere here above the collar under the chin maybe and somewhere here at the wrist. Just need little amounts of this beautiful, uh, powerful elixir. Uh, this is uh, basically an exotic blend. The leather accord here is definitely the pivotal one and it's not something uh, which is reminiscent of uh, the tan leather sort of accords from uh, your classical leather-based perfumes, leather-based Chypre or uh, some of the modern perfumes with that processed leather sort of vibe, that fine premium leather bag sort of vibe. Uh, you don't get that here, but what you get here, uh, you know, in terms of natural perfumery is a leather accord created with different ouds, premium ouds, Cambodian, Indian and Chinese. And you have some ambergris in here, you have saffron and a lot many other things. But I'll talk about the notes which are most dominant or, or which can be easily picked out. First of all, this is a very complex blend, not in terms of how it develops on your skin, but the way things have been blended. It definitely shows that this has been done by a master perfumer, all right, a master perfumer who works on traditional blends. So what it has uh, is a leather accord created by a, a soft barn from the precious Indian Oud, which was distilled by Insar himself. There's this sweet caramelic leather, buried leather sort of vibe coming from the Cambodian Oud. And there's the soft floral accord, which gives it that sort of exotic uh, smell coming from the Chinese Oud. The precious uh, material used here is rose attar or uh, your pure rose oil, which is from the 1980s. So that's a very precious material. Uh, it gives out a very smoky sort of feel. This is not your uh, regular taif rose that you get in uh, the Arabic world or uh, some of these modern roses like Bulgarian rose, Moroccan rose and stuff like that. It's not your synthetic rose uh, uh, aroma. It's, it's a very dark, it's a very, um, uh, it, it's not creamy uh, or uh, your uh, regular syrupy sort of rose. It's not jammy syrupy rose. It's dark, it has this, uh, roasted rose petals sort of accord. Uh, it's extremely exquisite and it's very difficult to pinpoint. So you need to spend at least a few weeks with this perfume even before you can try to convince yourself that you are sniffing a rose in here. That's how complex it is. Uh, there, there are no vertical complexities here. The things are not, uh, you know, they are not uh, definite transitions in, in here which you will appreciate or which will bedazzle you. But the complexity in terms of blending, in terms of perfumery is absolutely top class. Now, uh, the, oud, uh, the oud is not too challenging uh, because of the blending with other materials. The ambergris is pretty much no noticeable from the word go. It gives the perfume a slight incense sort of vibe. And that could also be contributed by the Cambodian oud used here. I remember one of these beautiful ouds that Ensara had distilled. It's known as Aroha Kyaku. Uh, it's a Cambodian oil, but with a very uh, dark, tarry, um, almost bonfire smoke-like opening. And I get a huge dose of that here. Probably it has the similarities with the Cambodian oud used in here. So I get that uh, beautiful soul-stirring sort of aroma from this. Uh, now, as it dries down, it, bec it becomes much more lighter. The smoke settles down and then you're left with this beautiful rose. The rose is much more prominent here. You get a fine uh, leather base. It's, it's a very exotic sort of perfume. It really reminds me of perfumes which were created in, uh, you know, 1960s, 70s, dark, mysterious concoctions. Um, it's a very, very sophisticated sort of perfume. And if you love dark elements, uh, in your perfume you'll definitely enjoy this one uh, it has a very soft sort of presence so it does not scream it does not screech and that's what i like about artisanal others or fine blends made from pure perfume materials um, the longevity i would say is pretty excellent given that this is 
uh, a pure pure perfume blend it lasts uh, an easy 8 to 10 hours on your skin especially if the weather is not too demanding it's if it's pleasant or cold uh, you you pretty much uh, uh, you'd you'd enjoy this perfume a lot uh, if um, it's slightly windy out there because you can then catch the whiffs of this um, beautiful oriental uh, concoction suitability i think this is definitely for the mature audience people who love dark scents of pure uh, materials pure perfume materials or even guys who like the darker stuff from the luxury brands and the niche brands and the indie brands this is definitely not your regular designer sort of other or the fancy other that the young guys and girls use so all in all guys i give this perfume a solid 8 out of 10 i think it's a it's a beautifully blended perfume a signature perfume from the house of ensarud with some really precious materials so if you are someone who enjoys pure perfume materials especially ouds please check this one out so i hope you enjoyed this review guys i'll be back again on sunday with a review of roja's very popular amber oud until then take care bye bye